What's going on today, my friends? So, high 585 here. Today, we've got the uh, Prism 10s, I guess you would call them, that's come out. I know you've probably seen them already. I finally got my hands on them. So, we're going to go ahead and open those. I got a LaMelo Ball and a Ja Morant, two of the hottest players out in the league right now. And, uh, yeah, I, I've got a few of the old school uh, football 10s. I think you, if you watch that video... Uh, then you know which ones I'm talking about. If not, uh, put the link to below so you can go watch that video as well. But uh, yeah, I thought these would be cool to collect. I don't know how many is out there, probably eight or nine, um, but it'd be cool to get them all. So we're going to open up the Job Morant first and see what's inside. It says contains two 2020-2021 Panini Prism Packs and two 2020-2021 Panini Donner's Optic Packs. So I guess it would be a Prism Optic pack so here we go let's see what we got so there's our two optic there's our two prism and we'll go jaw versus lamello grizzlies versus the hornets and see who wins we'll start off with optic first and uh let's see here that is a retail pack If you guys have opened up these before, let me know how y'all did. And here we go. Josh Jackson on the first card. Brooke Lopez on, on the uh, Bucks. Then we have a rated rookie, Nick Richards, uh, for the Hornets. And looks like we have a Express Lane, Kimball Walker. Not a Silver Prism or anything, just a uh, insert card there. So not much there. I was hoping that'd be a LaMelo Ball rookie. But uh, we got Nick Richards instead. All right, next one here, we got Bojan Bo, Bogdanovich. There we go. Eric Pascal, Gordon Hayward. And we do have a silver, looks like Express Lane, Ja Morant. Wow. So we do get, it is a little, little bent. I think it can straighten out in a top loader. But we do get the, uh, the box cover athlete in Ja Morant. So that's a pretty cool express lane prism there. So not too bad. Let's see if prism can do better. And if you guys haven't already, check out my eBay. It's uh, down here below. If you can read that, it's SHF85 sports cards on eBay. And also we still are waiting to get to 250 subscribers so we can give away that Devonte Adams Green Bay uh, Packers autograph helmet. All right, first car here is Devin or Kevin Knox. Then we have Evan Fournier, and it looks like we have an emergent for the Boston Celtics, Peyton Pritchard. Not bad. And then Rudy Gay. So that'd be our rookie emergent, Peyton Pritchard. Uh, he he uh, was played pretty well in the playoffs last year. Um, I saw him play a little bit the other night uh, in late in the game versus my Oklahoma City Thunder. All right, here we go, another Celtic. We do have some color back here, so that's Daniel Theis. Our rookie is Jordan Nawara for the um, Milwaukee. And then our silver is not a rookie, but it looks like it could be from the Hornets. Uh, and that is Malik Monk. And final card here is Blake Griffin. Okay, so nothing too crazy there. A little off-centered silver Malik Monk. And then we did get the uh, Jordan Noir. So I'll put him up there. All right, on to LaMelo Ball. These don't seem to be as juicy as the uh, boxes that came out uh, from TJ Holdings or W whatever Holdings Company uh, makes these. And there is the front of the Lamello. Really cool tins. I'm going to hold on to them. All right. Get four packs out of here. There we go. And we'll do it again. Optic versus Prism. Right now, uh, let me grab this real quick. Right now, the best card out there is going to be our Ja Morant Silver Express Lane. And we'll start off with Optic again this time. See if we can do better. We have Marcus Smart, Alex Caruso for the Lakers, PJ Washington, a lot of Hornets. And then it looks like we had another silver 
Express Lane, John Stockton for the Jazz. So I would say the uh, John Morant definitely beats out the Stockton. Little print lines on that one. Next one here. You can tell these are kind of older packs. They don't open very well. They kind of just fall apart. Okay, we have Thomas Bryant. Looks like we have a silver. We have Terry Rozier. And we have a John Collins. And let's see what this silver is. Pelicans. Jackson Hayes. Really, really bad off center. And kind of twisted it on this one as well. And definitely have some of those Panini dimples in there. So, not too impressed with these so far. Let's move on to the last two of Prism. All right. All right, let's see. Uh, we have Miles Bridges. And then we get a rookie for my Thunder, Theo Maladon. He's been traded, I believe, to the Spurs. Maybe. And next one here is a dominance insert, uh, Kawhi Leonard. And then we finished off with Bogdan Bogdanovich. All right, last pack here. See if we can beat out Malik Monk Silver. All right. So we start with, it looks like we got some color. That's going to be Jordan Clarkson, James Johnson. I'm going to go off the back here. Brooke Lopez and see what our red is. Does it not look like a rookie? Jack, Jaron Jackson Jr. So I was just talking about Jaron Jackson. Centering's not horrible. It's a little heavy on the right side compared to the left, but I do think Jaron Jackson is a good player. And uh, that definitely is going to hold some value there. So it, it, between the red wave of Jaron Jackson Jr. and the John Morant Silver Express Lane, I think that'll be a close call if it was uh, a regular John Morant and not that insert there. I would probably give it to him, but I think it's uh, I think it's tie. Tell me down below in the comments what you think. Um, I do have a few more cards to show, and uh, then we'll be done with this video. Uh, I got these in the mail from eBay, so let me know in the comments below what do you guys what are y'all doing? Are you buying off of eBay? Are you opening packs? Are you going to Walmart? Are you going to your local card shop? Are you buying from bigger places? Are you doing breaks? Kind of what are you doing to uh, to help grow your PC? Um, I'm kind of doing a little bit of each. I think I get more bang for my buck off of eBay, and I get to pick out what I want. But here's the first card here. That is a Patrick Mahomes behind the numbers from playoff. That is 2021 playoff football, uh, and that is a silver prism. I just love the color match. I I don't like these behind the numbers as much as uh, I think it was a year before this, maybe the 19 season, but still really cool card there. Um, but I did end up selling my behind the numbers uh, 2021 or 2020 season. So I went ahead and got me another one. And I was really surprised. There's very few of these on eBay. And um, after I sold mine, I was like kind of looking up the prices um, when I was doing the negotiating and the deals and I saw there wasn't any of these left. So I went ahead and got one of the last ones. There was a graded one in this one and that was about it. So I got my 2020 playoff football behind the numbers, Patrick Mahomes back. And I also sold, uh, this, uh, Shaquille O'Neal in Fuego from Tops. And this is, let's see, that is 1996. But I've noticed these Enfuego cards are selling like hotcakes right now. And I actually uh, sold mine uh, to a guy at work for uh, for Christmas. So I went ahead and replaced mine. And I also saw, saw Jordan on there. And they're going for over $100. And I haven't been able to get one. I'm going to try to wait till maybe they come back down. But um, I did get my shack at a good price. So I was happy to get it back in my collection. And the last card here is going to be Mr. Joe Burrow. And that is numbered 10 out of 75. And that is 2021 Impeccable Football. If you guys have ever opened any of this Impeccable, you know the boxes. I think there's only like maybe 10 cards, probably less. But they're like $1,600 a box. 
and uh, there's no way I'm gonna buy that. So I go on eBay and I try to search for some of these cards, like a Joe Burrow, that's numbered, and uh, get it at a good price um, because he is somebody that you know you always uh, kind of like Patrick Mahomes and and all these guys they're always going to sell so it's not a bad investment and uh, these thicker cards are really hard to grade the corners are really roughed up usually but this one looks really good so that is something that you need to check on some of these impeccable make sure that the, you can get a good close-up on the edges before you buy but other than that um, that was today's video i pr hope you guys enjoyed it i'll see you on the next one